scenario is we've woken up very early, it's raining, there's some wind, and we're gonna go drive three hours and hope to find some really good waves. Getting ready for the madness. Cyclone Tam is, uh, I think, up in the air right now, and uh, we're gonna go try to chase it down and uh, get some waves. The world's elite watermen are on the move. From Auckland to the Coromandel Peninsula, a 150-mile journey across some of the most dramatic coastline and breathtaking vistas in New Zealand. Hey, how's it going? Can you tell us what the waves are like? Time after time. And it looks like it's not big enough. Break after break. It does look quite fun, but <laughs> probably better waves. Mother Nature left the big wave seekers disappointed. Ultimate waiting around <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Six hours of searching and the massive swell remains elusive. So the ultimate Waterman event organizers make a concession. Call off the search for the big wave event location and hold the shortboard competition in thumping conditions. Yeah, finally after a full day of driving around, being up early, it's, uh, it's good to get wet, get the board under the feet and uh, go get a few. It's a short, sharp, grunty beach and um, it should be some pretty funny walk up. Two hour heat with everybody out. I'm sure there's gonna be some sick rides. Congrats goes to our top three finishers, Kai Lenny in third, second place Australian Mark Visser, and the Tahitian Manoa Drolet from worst to first. Got last place in the Waka Am event, comes back to take the win. A big move for him. We'll have to see how it all unfolds. Now all of our eyes focus on the South Island as we head to Dunedin, chasing more swell. For all the updates, keep it here on Red Bull TV.